IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 4.6 looking at the transfer of substances and energy along food chains. So here, here we have a food chain. Uh, we've got bush grass here being eaten by the impala. The bush grass of course is the producer. Our impala is the primary consumer here we have a leopard that would be the secondary consumer and if a leopard ever were to be eaten by a lion that would make it the tertiary consumer. The producer you'll recall from video 217 is converting light energy into chemical energy. This chemical energy takes the form of organic molecules including carbohydrates, proteins and lipids and these molecules that we would call food, certainly a food the, these molecules in the bush grass are food to the impala and these molecules in the impala are food to the cheetah and in turn these molecules in the cheetah are food to the lion. These molecules are composed of carbon to hydrogen bonds, carbon to oxygen bonds, uh, carbon to carbon bonds, oxygen to hydrogen bonds uh, and indeed bonds including carbon to nitrogen. Now these bonds all represent energy but the carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen these are the substances which you might call matter. So as the bush grass carries out photosynthesis it creates the organic molecules which are the substances and contain the energy which was fixed from sunlight now in the form of chemical energy. The impala consumes this for growth and respiration and life processes and in turn the cheetah consumes the impala, passes on the same molecules reorganizing them into cheetah form and if the lion eats the cheetah they would be reorganized into lion form. But what's passing from each stage in the food chain is our substances or matter shown here and the energy which of course is in the bonds between the elements. 